Hello. First and foremost, Happy New Year to everyone who is watching us today. It's a pleasure to be here and to be announcing this uh, first episode of a series about Gabriel Delan. And um, we will be talking about important people, the pioneers of spiritism. We've had the opportunity to talk about Leon Denis, who was one of them, together with Kardec, actually laying down the foundations of spiritism. And uh, today we start then a new series about another very important person with a wonderful contribution that was uh, Gabriel Delan. So we'll be having our talks every first uh, Sunday of the month, 6 p.m. UK time. So we will have it all the way throughout the year until December when we have our final one, a roundup of all the presentations. So we'll get to know better the works of, uh, of um, Gabriel Delan. It's very important because some spiritists, they've heard about Gabriel Delan, Leon Denis, and so many others, but they don't know uh, the depth of their work. And uh, this is a very good opportunity for us to do that. So we are doing this work um, basically organized by the Spiritist Center for Peace, London, UK, with the support of the British Union of Spiritist Societies and Kardec Radio. So we are very thankful to Kardec Radio for allowing us to use the studio so we can have this uh, talk today. Well, today we start this series with a, a, a very dear friend, Charles. Uh, for those who don't know Charles, I will just quickly introduce him. Charles is uh, French, Charles Kempf. He's French. He's a retired engineer. His first contact with the Spiritism was in 1886. And uh, he's working in French and international Spiritist movement since uh, 92. So currently leading the, forgive my French, Centre d'études spirites, Léon Denis, in Mauhaus, France, since 97, and was a member of the organization committee of the fourth International World Spiritist uh, Congress in Paris, 2004. He was a member of the uh, executive committee of the International Spiritist Council between 2004 and 2016 a member of the executive committee of the French Spiritist Council, that was between 2007 and 2014, member of the French-speaking Spiritist Movement, a general secretary of the International Spiritist Council between 2012 and 2016, and responsible for the International Spiritist Council coordination in Europe, that was between 2007 and 2018 a member of the writing committee of the uh, Revue Spirit in French, member of the working group of the Spiritist Encyclopedia, member of the French Spiritist Federation, researcher on the history of Spiritism and Alan Kardec. So there's no one better that I know who could introduce uh, Gabriel Delan to us. So Charles, it's a great pleasure to have you here. I hand it over to you. Hello, Munir. <clears throat> good, good evening. Or oh, good afternoon for you, sorry. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone who are uh, following us. I'm very happy to be here again uh, with you for uh, introducing this uh, series of uh, Gabriel Delan, uh, which is uh, one of the pioneers of the Spiritist movements. First of all, also, I would like uh, to address my best wishes to all of you, huh? uh, hoping that uh, uh, today being the day of uh, International Day of Peace, that we can uh, really work uh, hard and harder to cultivate the peace in ourselves and also to make uh, that uh, all these conflicts, which are unfortunately still harassing uh, our, our Earth, our planet, will stop uh, because uh, otherwise uh, we will not uh, enter in this uh, uh, war at <coughs> aimed uh, world of regeneration but okay 
Gabriel Delan was really uh, one of the pioneers uh, of the spiritist movement together with Leon Denis. So I think, uh, Munir, you can share the slides if you don't yeah. mind. <clears throat> Here we are. So introducing Gabriel Delan and, and his work uh, for this series uh, that will uh, happen every uh, first Sunday uh, of uh, the month, uh, all around the year 2023. So as I told, Gabriel Delan <clears throat> is um, known by name, but not so much known by its works, his works, uh, at least less than Léon Denis. Léon Denis is, I would say, a little bit more popular, more disseminated uh, internationally. Gabriel Delan is less uh, known internationally, maybe because of the characteristic uh, of his uh, action, which was more centered um, on the scientific uh, aspect of spiritism, scientific aspect, but not only. Uh, he was really a true spiritist and also uh, <clears throat> Uh, disseminating all the moral consequences arising from the spiritist uh, phenomenon, the existence of the soul and its survival after the death, as we will see in some quotes from him. So Gabriel Delan, <coughs> his uh, full name is François-Marie Gabriel Delan. He is born 23rd of March 1857 in Paris. Uh, his address at that time was uh, 21 Cairo Street in Paris. And uh, interesting, it's you see, it's 23rd of March is exactly four weeks before the first issue of the Spirits book by Alan Kardec. Uh, so uh, he is really uh, part of this uh, generation. So his father <coughs> was called Alexandre Delan. His true name, this is something I will complete for the next uh, uh, revised slide. Um, his, his true name was not Alexandre, Alexandre was the given name, he had some other name uh, on his birth certificate that we found out with Carlos Set, huh? uh, on uh, our researchers about the mediums who uh, participated to the codification. So Alexandre was a sales representative, huh? and <clears throat> the mother of Gabriel was Alexandrine Didelot, and uh, she and uh, Alexandre had a modest shop of hygiene, uh, hygiene articles, uh, which was uh, which they uh, were operating in Paris. Alexandre and uh, Alexandrine adhered to Spiritism around 1861. We don't know the exact date. Uh, Alexandre is uh, <clears throat> telling the full story uh, or, or uh, the story of uh, this discovery. Uh, where uh, he's telling that it was after reading the Spirit's book and the Medium's book. So since the Medium's book was published in March 1861, it could only be 1861. Huh? And he made Alan Kardec uh, in Passage saint anne in Paris. So here again, the first address of Alan Kardec was Rue des Martyrs. Huh? And only uh, in 1860, or end of 1860, he moved to this new place, uh, Passage saint anne in Paris. Uh, so they both adhered to Spiritism. Alexandrine, on top of this, revealed to be an excellent medium uh, she, uh, in automatic writing. And uh, Alexandre and Alexandrine founded a Spiritist group, Rue Saint-Denis initially, uh, which was uh, Maison des Bains Saint Sauveur, uh, uh, known at that time. And this group was really very active uh, during several years, uh, several decades even, as we can, as we will see later. <clears throat> and I told you the full history of the beginnings of the Spiritist movement in France is described by Alexandre Delan in a long series of articles he wrote uh, entitled uh, Voyage au Pays des Souvenirs, Journey uh, in the, to the Land of uh, Memories that he published in the magazine Le Spiritisme between September 1888 and February 1895. But I discovered today as well that he continued publishing uh, more articles in the La Revue Scientifique et Morale du Spiritisme uh, starting 1896. So it's a very interesting source of information about the history and the first steps of the Spiritisme 
uh, in uh, France, but not only, also in Europe, because uh, Alexandre was a commercial representative and he had the opportunity to travel a lot, uh, also in Spain or in Italy or some other clo countries close to France. <clears throat> so this was the environment in which Gabriel Delan was born. Uh, his parents uh, were spiritists, brought him up following the moral teachings of spiritism. And uh, since uh, he was a young guy, uh, his childhood, he was familiarized with the spiritist vocabulary. And he attended many and very interesting seances at an early age. So as a, as a small child, he was already participating to the, uh, to the meetings of the spiritist group of uh, his fathers. Okay. And uh, in 1925, uh, in the, in, during, at the occasion of the International Spiritist Congress in Paris, uh, Gabriel Delan brought the following. Having had the good fortune to be born into a family where spiritism had been studied since 1858, you see here again a discrepancy between 1858 and 1861 uh, I mentioned before. So it's probably somewhere between these two dates. Huh? So during all my youth, I attended very many seances uh, where one obtained communication by the table and by writing. And this for 30 years in an absolutely disinterested way. So you see, this group of Gabriel Delan uh, uh, was uh, working uh, more than 30 years. And uh, it was really the basis where he made uh, the first observations first as a child and then as a researcher. So <clears throat> another episode uh, about his youth, Mrs. Dussel, hein, who is uh, president of the Foyer Spirit de Béziers, uh, it is in uh, south of France, hein, between uh, Montpellier and Narbonne, and other colleagues of the Committee of the Union, Union Spirit Française, French Spiritist Union, told us about an interesting memory, says uh, Henri Regnaud, the biographer. Huh? Alexandre Delan, during his business trips, stayed at the Hotel des Postes and when, when he went to Béziers. He liked to tell that his seven-year-old boy, so seven years, this was then uh, 57, 1864, huh? had, come, had once been questioned about his parents' profession. With charming naivety, Gabriel had answered, Dad, he is a spiritist, and mom too. She is even a very good medium. I hope to be able one day, like her, to honor my face. And uh, this is, in fact, uh, what he did later on. <coughs> and uh, Alexandre Delan, he, so he met Kardec 1861, and then they remained very, very close friends. You know, there was a uh, a, a big friendship between Kardec and Delan, and uh, even um, uh, at the weekend, during the weekends, huh, Kardec uh, retired uh, to the campaign, as he said, huh, it's uh, Villa Segur. At that time, uh, it was full of garden. It was not uh, uh, urbanized like it is today. Huh? And uh, he, at, at that moment, he invited uh, the, the closest friends from him, including the Delan family. So uh, Alexandre, Alexandrine, and uh, the young Gabriel uh, visited him a lot of times. And uh, <clears throat> uh, during his visits, huh, uh, Gabriel took great, uh, no, uh, Kardec took great pleasure in bringing toys to little Gabriel that used to jump familiarly on his knees. So. Uh, Delan, of course, uh, knew Kardec, but he was a child huh? because in, when Kardec died in 1869, he was only 12 years old. <coughs> so, sorry. Uh, Gabriel studied first at the College of Cluny in Saône-et-Loire, then with his brother Ernest at the College of Grey, Haute-Saône, which is close to where I'm living, by the way. Uh, and, and it's also uh, clo very close to the place where uh, Alexandre Delan uh, uh, was born, and all the family Delan have the roots uh, in this uh, region of uh, Haute-Saône, Grey. Huh? Uh, and also he had some uh, people, huh? the aunts, the aunts uh, lived in Grey, huh? 
the sister-in-law of Alexandre Delan, and that's why he was in that college, which was probably more open and less expensive uh, than the colleges uh, in Paris at that time. And uh, after brilliant scientific studies, Gabriel Delan was even admitted at the Ecole Centrale des Arts et Manufactures. So this is one of the most uh, prestigious uh, engineering schools in, in France, huh? where he entered on November uh, 3rd, 1876. But unfortunately, he resigned and left the school on January 26, 1877, so only after a couple of months. And this decision was probably motivated, according to Henri Regnault, eh, by the material situation of his parents, who had made very heavy sacrifices to themselves in order to give their son a solid education. So he had an engineering, scientific and engineering studies, but he could not complete uh, this uh, Ecole Centrale des Arts et Manufactures. Okay? But his background clearly was uh, scientific. And so he's an engineer like I, like I am. Huh? So this is why I have this uh, close affinity with him. And I like a lot the, the, his books and the way he's analyzing the things. You know, it's, it's not the, the theoretical scientist. It's more the pragmatic approach, which is characteristic uh, of, uh, in, of uh, engineers. And uh, as an engineer, uh, uh, he joined the Pop Compressed Air and Electric Company, which was uh, in Paris. And he remained uh, working there until 1892. Uh, 1892, this is when he stopped and dedicated uh, all his time. He was full time. Uh, dedicated to uh, the spiritist uh, works. Huh? Uh, also, he had some health uh, problems, difficulties, as we will see further on, which also motivated uh, that he stopped uh, working. So, <clears throat> uh, a spontaneous communication was received by Gabriel Delan when he decided to devote himself entirely to spiritualist propaganda. Huh? And this communication said, don't be afraid. Uh, have confidence from the material point of view. You will never be rich, but you will lack nothing. So interestingly, this is a situation of, was the situation of Delan, but it was also the situation of Leon Denis. It was also the situation of Alan Kardec. Uh, a lot of spiritists lived this same situation. And I think it's the healthiest and the safest uh, situation for uh, not having, how to say, uh, temptations uh, of uh, losing time uh, outside uh, the important uh, issues uh, and uh, also to miss part uh, of the mission uh, that we accepted uh, before uh, our incarnation in this life. Uh, and this was then the situation of uh, Gabriel Delan. And uh, this was true throughout the life of uh, this apostle of scientific spiritism. So <clears throat> uh, in uh, 1882, 24th of December, has been founded the Union Spirit Française, French Spiritist Union. The first meetings happened with uh, Amélie Boudet because she was still alive. Huh? She only died in January uh, 1883. And uh, this uh, founding of the Union Spirit Française was motivated because of, how to say, the two commercial approach and the deviations that happened in the Society for the Continuation of the Alan Kardec works, huh, which was led by Pierre Gaëtan Lemarie. So uh, he started deviating, entering in theosophy and uh, being influenced also by Guérin, Jean-Baptiste Jean Roustin, that we will see a little bit later also. And uh, the people who were really, um, how to say, dedicated and uh, to Alan Kardec, who wanted to follow his track, decided then to found a, a new entity, huh, uh, which is 100% following Kardec. And they found uh, they founded also uh, a new uh, newspaper review huh, or magazine, which was called Le Spiritism. You know that uh, Revue Spirit huh, that was founded by Alan Kardec in 1858 
was led still at that time by Pierre Gaetan Lemarie, and as it can be seen on 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 on, on the, the issues of that period, uh, as I told already, deviated a little bit from spiritism, also uh, saying that uh, Kardec is already uh, has been, and uh, the spiritist has now to enter into more modern way and so on. And uh, that was uh, one of the reasons why at that time there were two magazines. So it's important if you <clears throat> want to have an uh, idea of the spiritist spiritism in France, not only to read the Revue Spirit, which is only one side of the of the of the thing, but also to read Le Spiritism, which was the other side, uh, the, the, the second cur, cur, uh, second uh, trend of the spiritist movement in France. So the first issue was in March 1883. Uh, it gave us a lot of headache, but uh, finally we managed to have uh, almost all collection of these numbers huh, from the first number until the last one. And we are missing only one uh, monthly number. Uh, and it was already in 1894 uh, when uh, Gabriel Delan was not anymore the director of this magazine. And uh, every, all this is of, for free download on uh, Spiritist Encyclopedia. You can see the website here, Spiritism in French, uh, .net. And there you can see in the magazine, you will find Le Spiritism, uh, this uh, almost full collection. Okay. <clears throat> For this also, he got the financial help of Madame d'Espérance. And he is telling, interestingly, how this happened. He received a letter from a person asking uh, him to visit her. And uh, uh, the letter was not very well written in, 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 in good language. And uh, so he was a little bit doubtful, but at the end was somehow like pushed by the mentors. He ended up uh, visiting this lady. It was in a very poor uh, 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 house uh, in a poor uh, region of Paris. And uh, his surprise was to discover this lady uh, asking him uh, to uh, publish a newspaper. And then when he answered her, uh, yeah, uh, this is our objective, but uh, it needs a little bit uh, of uh, of money to 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 get that. And spontaneously, this poor lady who living in a poor place, huh, Elizabeth Desperance, she was uh, British, by the way, huh, uh, took five thousand French francs at that time, saying, "Okay, this is just uh, as a down payment for you to start uh, this work." And this is how. Uh, this, uh, review, this, re, this magazine, The Spiritism, started in March 1883. Okay, And Madame d'Espérance, by the way, continued helping uh, uh, Gabriel Delan for the other newspaper he founded later on in 1896, as we will see uh, in a few moments. And uh, Gabriel Delan was editor-in-chief of this uh, magazine until September 1893. And there, the magazine had to be, uh, no, this magazine was also, uh, how to say, answering with very strong arguments. Huh? Uh, uh, Gabriel Delan participated actively to it against the theory advanced by Jean-Baptiste Roustin, which was from, who, who died a couple of years uh, before, and uh, whose theory was promoted by Jean Guérin. Huh? Uh, it was a rich person uh, living in the border region. So he managed already to influence between bracket Le Marie, huh? uh, being the, the main shareholder of the Society for the Continuation of Work of Alan Kardec, you know, continued of, continuing work of Alan Kardec and promoting uh, Roustin, for which Kardec took a very clear position uh, that he did not share the ideas. Huh? So this is how the things uh, are happening sometimes, unfortunately. And uh, really, the arguments advanced by Gabriel Delan, for instance, uh, with regards to the ethereal body uh, of Jesus, huh, which, in, 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 as per this theory, was not truly incarnated like you and me with a physical body, but who was a kind of a continuous uh, materialization uh, during the 33 years of his life. And Gabriel Delan really made a, 
an analysis and with strong arguments uh, showing that this is absolutely impossible uh, on top of the arguments which were of course already advanced by Alan Kardec. And this is thanks to Gabriel Delan amongst others, huh? Bert Propo and some others as well, the uh, Mr. and Miss uh, Rosen Dufour and some others, uh, that in France, the story of uh, Jean-Baptiste Roustin stopped and today nobody knows uh, him, know who is in, who is he, who he is. Uh, and the books have never ever been published, uh, never, not even a second edition, okay? The same did not happen in Brazil, where some debates are still ongoing today. But okay, that's life. So this is thanks to Gabriel Delan that this debate was closed in France very from the beginning. So let's listen to Gabriel Delan, uh, his speech, 23rd of January, 1883. So it, you see, the Union Spirit Française was already founded by the Spirit, but the Spiritism came only to, to uh, one uh, and a half months later. Uh, in Père Lachaise Cemetery, where uh, uh, Gabriel is in the same dolmen uh, uh, grave uh, as uh, Alan Kardec, huh? uh, he made the following speech, so I will read it. Mrs. Alan Kardec was truly the strong woman, according to the gospel. Having become the companion of the great popularizer of spiritualism, she adopted his ideas. She employed all her energies in the study of the new principles. She overcame the prejudices of her century and her education and rose by her will to the hate of the spirit of our master. With Alan Kardec, huh? she later provided by the deep attachment she kept for our way of seeing that spiritism had penetrated deeply into her heart. Yes, these great and sublime truths which our philosophy professes gave it the courage gave her the courage to boldly second the propagator of the new faith and to sustain him in the often so painful struggles of the apostolate so you see the homage uh, uh, that uh, given by uh, gabriel delan to uh, amelie boudet was really very strong and again i mean 57 83 you see he was uh, uh, only 26 years old. Yeah. <clears throat> He's continuing like this. The companion of a superior man feels that particular duties are incumbent on her. Not only does she have, like any devoted wife, the task of surrounding him with love and thoughtfulness, but she also has the holy mission of strengthening his soul in the painful hours of trial. She must soothe the cruel wounds that hate and sarcasm cause in the hearts of the champions of progress. She must find those good words which are sovereign balms for the soul. She must finally, by its energy, by her energy, give strength to the tired athlete. Well, Mrs. Alan Kardec was that woman. She did not fall into the lofty mission entrusted to her. During her husband's travels during through France, she surrounded with him with her she surrounded him with her solicitude and insight, often baffling by the soundness of her judgment, those who wished to speculate on the master's well known goodness. Alan Kardec was inspired by her so just intelligence for the making of his works. He never published one without consulting her, and often he took advantage of the advice furnished by the rectitude of his companion's judgment. It is therefore a double loss that we are making at the moment, that of a woman of heart devoted to our ideas, and that of a collaborator of the man of genius whom we regret. So you see, 26 years and making also already such a uh, uh, a speech is really uh, showing uh, uh, how, how strongly he was attached to Alan Kardec and his wife uh, that he knew since uh, very young uh, and also uh, showing uh, what was the mission of family and it's only now uh, since a couple of years that we have access to 
the exchanges of correspondences between Alan Kardec and Amélie Boudet, in particularly when he was traveling, uh, that we can see that this homage is at, not at all exaggerated and that it represents uh, the truth. So uh, very uh, nice uh, speech of uh, Gabriel Delan, so young, uh, uh, when uh, uh, at the death of uh, Amélie Boudet. So in April 1885, so a couple of years later, uh, Gabriel Delan published his first book, is Le Spiritisme devant la science, eh? Spiritism in front of science. And uh, interestingly, it's the same year that Léon Puldeni published Le Pourquoi de la Vie, eh? The Purpose of Life, which has recently been uh, translated into English and published by Bus. Eh? And uh, so both Gabriel Delan and Léon Denis started publishing their first Spiritist book the same year. Uh, so the, in this book, there are uh, the first pack, first part. He is really making the first uh, fundamental question: Do we have a soul? Huh? And uh, this is really uh, following again the Kardec advice, saying that uh, before to make somebody a spiritist, you first have to make him spiritualist. It means convince him that we have a soul, huh? because. If one is not convinced that he has a soul, you do not need to go further saying where the soul comes from, where it goes to, that the soul can communicate uh, through mediumship and so on. So it's really the start. The first step is to convince to have a soul. So you see, very young, uh, Gabriel Delan, uh, not even 30 years, uh, was already uh, structuring his book, uh, following exactly this uh, proper methodology. Huh? Uh, to convince uh, the, the the persons, he was also uh, then in the first part he talks also about the positive materialism, so making uh, analyzing where the materialist idea comes uh, in in the mainstream science came at that time and is still today uh, mainstream science is still dominantly materialist, huh? seeing that the conscience is a produce of brain and that uh, we do, nothing else exists out of the matter. Huh? Uh, and this is typically the materialist position, while the spiritualist position is the opposite one, take the saying that we have a soul that is independent of the matter and that survives even the uh, death, uh, which is only uh, the separation with the material body. Second part, uh, so he's uh, also uh, summarizing the magnetism, huh? you know, uh, Anton Mesmer, it was already one century at that time. Huh? Somnambulism, hypnotism, which were uh, uh, widely uh, studied uh, by uh, scientists uh, at that time. In the third part of the book, he's showing the evidences of the soul's immortality by experiences, huh? mainly the mediumistic experiences. He's also reviewing uh, the objections and answering to them one by one, huh? the different hypotheses trying to explain the same phenomenon. In the fourth part, uh, he is uh, talking about the petty spirit, huh? the spiritual body, showing also the evidences of uh, the existence and the properties of this petty spirit. And in the fifth part, he is uh, talking about mediumship, huh? entering a little bit more in detail. So you see, <clears throat> this book, Le Spiritisme devant la science, is a kind of, uh, like the, the equivalent from Léon Denis is uh, after death. Huh? Uh, he's really talking about all the subjects in a summarized manner huh? uh, in order to introduce, to give, to put it in the hands uh, of a person who uh, knows very little or knows even nothing about uh, spiritism or spiritualism. <clears throat> so it's a difference that uh, Gabriel Delan, the Spiritism de la Science, is more scientifically oriented, but not only, again, huh? and après la mort, uh, after death of Léon Denis, is more philosophically oriented, but also not only. Huh? Uh, uh, Léon Denis is also treating the scientific aspects and moral aspects, and uh, Gabriel Delan, of course, as well. Huh? And in 1923, uh, this book had already 9,000 uh, issues, huh? uh, 9,000 prints. 
1885, so the same year, he became uh, vice president of the French Spiritist Union, uh, which was founded in, 18, uh, in December 1882, as we have seen. Uh. Uh, and from 1885 and during several years, uh, he was uh, uh, had the opportunity also to travel, maybe not so much as Leon Denis, but yet uh, he gave several lectures, not only in France, but also Belgium, Argelia, Switzerland and other countries. And he was really uh, uh, very appreciated, like Leon Denis was, huh? really. Uh, uh, Leon Denis and uh, Gabriel Delan uh, lectures and conferences had a lot of uh, as success. Huh? But Gabriel Delan was unfortunately uh, suffering uh, from two things. First is a deficient vision because he had an abscess in, in the left eye uh, when he was very young. So this affected his uh, vision from that eye. And he had also uh, ataxia. And ataxia, so I wrote here underneath as a definition I found in Wikipedia. Huh? So it's a neurological problem where uh, there is difficulties for coordinating the muscles. So this shows that he is, uh, <clears throat> how to say, uh, he, he was walking not always in the, how to say, he had difficulty even to walk huh? and to coordinate the movements. And uh, so this, like Leon Denis also had problem uh, of vision, huh? like Alan Kardec also had health problems. We can see that all these pioneers uh, did not have a so easy life. Nevertheless, they uh, lived uh, long enough in order to complete their mission. So no facility, huh? no uh, excessive comfort, but uh, how to say, uh, uh, the necessary support in order to fulfill the mission. And around 1992, huh, uh, Delan family suffered a financial catastrophe. So they lost a lot of money. We don't exactly why. Huh? Uh, so this is something to be investigated a little bit better. Uh, and in the, the, the magazine Le Spiritisme, huh, that was uh, running already nine years, had to be sold to Arthur d'Anglemont in 1893. So this is when uh, Gabriel Delan stopped being the, the chief redactor, huh, chief editor, and it was uh, handed over to uh, another person <coughs> on behalf of uh, Arthur d'Anglemont, which was the owner. You see, again, uh, the same situation. Alan Kardec also had some financial difficulties. Not Alan Kardec, I would say Rivai, huh, uh, when he was, uh, when he had this uh, Rivai Institute in Paris, huh, Rue de Sèvres, uh, that also, there was also uh, some uh, money problem because of his uh, aunt uh, in uh, 1840. How the histories are uh, similar one to the other. Huh? And uh, the year after uh, died uh, his mother, huh, Alexandrine Delan. Uh, the, it was the year after this. So you can see a, a lot, a succession of difficulties uh, in the family. Yeah. Let's listen now a little bit to Gabriel Delan <clears throat> and uh, to see how he homenageated uh, Alan Kardec. Huh? We believe Alan Kardec is in the truth and we will stand for his principles. Solidly supported by science, we will walk boldly along the path opened to us by its genius, ace fixed on the consolations that our beloved doctrine, our body of knowledge, brings with it. We will walk towards the grandiose and limitless horizons that it reveals to us. We will walk towards the goal, supporting by the strength given by, the go by good law, truth and science, and we will thus try to establish the truth of the works of the master. So this is uh, what he said uh, in a speech gave, uh, that he gave 23rd of January 1887 in the city of Lyon, where uh, Alan Kardec uh, was born. Okay. So clearly, uh, Gabriel Delan recognized uh, the, the genius work of uh, Alan Kardec, yet, you see, with the objective of uh, gathering all the scientific evidences uh, in favor uh, of uh, to, to give evidence 
uh, to this uh, theory, uh, to this body of knowledge that Allan Kardec dedicated to us. I 1893, it was his second book, so Le Phénomène Spirit, the Spiritist Phenomenon. Uh, also four parts. Uh, first part uh, he was seeing as in the antiquity. So you see, uh, we always tell that mediumship is happening uh, since uh, the world is existing, uh, since Mathusalem or even uh, before. Uh, and this book is a very interesting co collection of historical facts about mediumships. So very interesting. Modern times uh, also, how, how this developed uh, most recently and uh, also in the 19th century. The second part, uh, he's developing the psychical force, huh? uh, the intelligence, the mediumship, and the transcendental spiritism. The third part, uh, he's giving advices for mediums and experimenters, very uh, good advices. And in the fourth part, he is summarizing the spiritist doctrine or spiritist body of knowledge. Uh, so this is the content of the second book, which in uh, 1909 was already at the sixth edition. Okay. Here you can see two pictures of Gabriel Delan, uh, more or less at that time, uh, when he was quite young. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, you saw uh, a, a little bit after when he had to stop Le spiritisme. Of course, Elisabeth d'Espérance was still here and asking him, please uh, restart and something else and so on. And in uh, July 1896, he is publishing the first uh, number, uh, the first uh, num number one uh, of uh, this first issue of Revue scientifique et morale du spiritisme. So you see, scientific and moral. Uh, Spiritism Scientific and Moral magazine. So you see, scientific and moral. So he was not uh, of that trend saying, no, this moral stuff, that is too early and so on. So he did never lose this focus of the most important part of Spiritism, but uh, was also developing the scientific approach in order to sustain all these moral consequences. So this magazine he published, uh, you can see, uh, during uh, 30 years, uh, from 1896 until his death in 1926. And there we have 100% all the, all the prints that we have found, uh, even uh, around the interruption which happened uh, during World War I. Uh, so also everything is from free download uh, in, in Spiritist Encyclopedia. Uh, as you can find the uh, website here, huh? spiritism.net. And uh, I was counting the number of pages. It's more than 18,000 pages. So imagine uh, it's when you have them as I do, it's something like two meters high or two meters long. Uh, so, so many books and information and pages. And it's, it's really a huge collection. Uh, with discussions of hundreds and hundreds of facts that uh, Gabriel Delan gathered worldwide huh, from the best sources. So not only uh, France, but also UK, the, the SPR, uh, from Italy, from Spain, from Latin America, wherever. Huh. Uh, he is really reporting uh, all what happened in not only spiritist, but also magnetics and uh, uh, mesmerism, uh, hypnotism, all these uh, sciences, uh, all the phenomena and the studies that happened. Uh, and this, of course, on top of his own uh, experience and uh, observations. Uh, so uh, I don't know if some of you know this, even when I talk to Brazilian uh, spiritists, even good researchers that have a good knowledge of Gabriel Duran, very few people know this uh, magazine. Uh, and uh, we have it already since several years, uh, of course, in France, huh, uh, available. And it's really, uh, I, I, you can trust me, a source, a huge source, encyclopedic source of all what happened uh, during all that period. Uh, so don't hesitate to go there. It's everything for free. Uh, do you have, should you have any doubt, please uh, come to me. Uh, I will be happy to uh, help you in your researches, okay? 
March 1897, it was the third book he wrote, huh? L'Evolution Animique, so Animic Evolution or Soul Evolution, huh? uh, where you have the following chapters. Huh? Uh, what is life? Very interesting uh, chapter. Uh, he is also dis dis discussing the souls of the animals huh? and how did our spirit, spirit acquire the functional properties for mankind, you know. Uh, a little bit like uh, evolution in two worlds from uh, André Luis, Chico Xavier. So that is really, uh, he was a pioneer in uh, this type of uh, uh, studies and reasoning and observations, huh? Gabriel Dulan. Uh, the memories also of multi and multiple personalities, that's how things are still happening today, and is an enigma for uh, psychiatry. The functions of the soul seen from incarnation, heredity and the madness, and also uh, last chapter uh, talking about the universe. So it's a very, very uh, excellent book, uh, very detailed, but uh, it will be presented separately by one of uh, the other uh, speech uh, that will happen in the coming first Sundays of the month. So uh, here you can see I had uh, already the third edition of uh, 1897, so three editions, so 3,000 issues sold uh, the years of publication. Um, and here uh, some quote out of it. Today, we must get rid of the passions and instincts, which are the rem remnants of our passage through the lower realms. The struggle is long and difficult, because we have to modify the first perispital movements which were incarnated in us and which alone constituted our mental life during those distant times and a thousand times over centuries when we were accomplishing our evolution. But the will is all powerful over matter. Progress opens before us its ever brighter prospects and this same force which has made us into the state of intelligence beings will know how to open the way to better worlds where concord fraternity and love reign you can see this last uh, uh, sentence huh? uh, concord fraternity and love so uh, Gabriel Delan was also strongly promoting peace. Huh? And since today is the International Day of Peace, huh? uh, showing that uh, Gabriel Delan was also very, very concerned uh, about uh, promoting the peace uh, in our, on our planet. June 1898, <clears throat> so it was 50 years after the Heightsville phenomenon. Huh? there was uh, an international spiritualist congress in london huh? uh, and gabriel traveled to london and participated to it so i did unfortunately not yet find and since i'm here talking to our uh, british or uh, english speaking colleagues if some of you has a knowledge or an information about uh, if there is a summary huh, of uh, this uh, congress in london uh, and where we could find it, <laughs> I would be heavily interested because so far uh, I failed to locate it. And the information we have are the information that were published in other uh, spiritist magazine, like the Revue Spirit and also Revue Scientifique et Moral du Spiritisme. So we have some speeches, the speech of Gabriel Delan, for instance, he was talking about reincarnation, the speech of uh, the Colonel de Rocha, who was also in London, the speech of uh, Pierre Gaëtan Lemary, who also who didn't participate, but also uh, sent a document to that uh, Congress. But of course, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of, uh, we have also the program, huh? but unfortunately we don't have uh, the compilation of all the speeches that happened during this Congress. So here I would welcome, if some of you have some information about an eventual uh, print of, uh, the summary of this Congress, I would be interested. <clears throat> so uh, Dolan presented a study on successive lives. And you know that this was one of the discussion points huh, between the English, British, and American spiritualists and the French spiritists. Huh? 
the, by the way, the word spiritist is translated into English uh, in spiritualist, uh, even if, okay, uh, spiritism is existing in UK uh, in English, but apparently with a slightly different meaning. Uh, so this is how uh, this uh, took uh, several decades. But one of the problems they had, a difference of opinion, was the French spiritists believed in reincarnation and the English or American, some English and American spiritualists did not believe in reincarnation. And so that's why Gabriel Delan uh, took over no, to talk about this subject during this Congress, which happened in London. Okay. <clears throat> And in January 1899, the year after, with Dr. Moutin, he, uh, he founded the French Spiritist Society for the Study of Psychical Phenomenon. There were already several uh, societies for study of psychical phenomenon. There was a SPR in London, of course, an SPR also in Australia and in, in uh, US. Uh, in France, there were several of them. But one more huh, was uh, founded by uh, Gabriel Delan and uh, Dr. Moutin, uh, following stronger the uh, spiritualist paradigm, okay? So the spiritualist approach. So Delan became its president and uh, <clears throat> it became the entity uh, linking most of the French spiritist societies like uh, uh, uniting a center of communication of the different spiritists and the psychic uh, research groups around France. Uh, and uh, the, so this, this is uh, explaining how Delan was a little bit like Kardec was at the beginning, the, the center of convergence of a lot of information about phenomena and so on. So the same happened uh, with Gabriel Delan uh, at the very end of the 19th century. Uh, in this society. And this society was replaced later on in 1919 by uh, a new Union Spirit Francaise, huh? because the Union Spirit Francaise, which was founded in uh, 1882, uh, had only a short life of about 10 years, and it has been uh, founded again uh, in the 20th century in 1919. Uh, next book of uh, Gabriel Delan was in June 1899, uh, L'âme est immortelle, so the soul is immortal. Huh? Again, in the content, we can find the first part, the observation history, huh? magnetism, uh, existence of perish spirit, out-of-body experiences, spiritual body after, uh, what, uh, after the death. Huh? The second part, uh, the experiences, experimental studies of human soul exteriorization. There was a lot of experiments done by Hector Durville and even later on by Charles Lancelin and, some, and a lot of others also in UK. Huh? Uh, the experiences of uh, Colonel de Rocha, huh? l'exteriorisation de la personnalité, de la sensibilité, and Dr. Lewis. And, uh, Gabriel Delan is then uh, summarizing all the, the, the evidences uh, coming from those researches. And also the photographs and the castings, which there was a time of first casting down, you know, in paraffin uh, cast uh, of materialized uh, spirits. Huh? Uh, the, the first evidences came already uh, at the end of the 19th century. And uh, in the third part, uh, Gabriel Delan uh, took again this subject of the spiritism and the science, uh, showing very strongly uh, that uh, the spiritists at that moment were still following uh, the scientific methods, uh, positivist methods, but for investigating uh, spiritualist and uh, abnormal phenomenon, uh, uh, but with uh, following this spiritualist paradigm. And the fourth part was an essay on fluidic creation by will, uh, which is uh, today called. Uh, <clears throat> ah, Munir, can you help me? Ideoplasty. Ideoplasty. Okay. So there were already. Uh, so it is known since Kardec. The word did not exist at that time yet. Uh, but still, uh, Gabriel Delan made uh, an essay. Uh, about this in the fourth part of this book. And in 1923, we had the seventh uh, edition of this book. 
1900, uh, after the 1898 Congress in London, there was a Congress in Paris, uh, International Spiritist and Spiritualist uh, Congress, you see, Congress Spirit et Spiritualist. Because of this confusion, they just put the two words and both were uh, united together in the same Congress. And uh, Gabriel Delan had a very uh, strong participation uh, in the organization committee. And he was also participating to the Congress, unfortunately not as much as he would like to, because he had already these uh, health problems. But he uh, was a general secretary of the Spiritist section of this Congress. And here on the right side, you can see the, the, the summary book, huh, which is something like 500 pages. This one uh, uh, we found, and it's also for free download in the Spiritist Encyclopedia, spiritism.net. Okay, here you have a picture of Gabriel Delan around that time. Huh? Uh, 2nd of March 1901, uh, his father died, huh? Alexandre Delan. And uh, Gabriel started to give weekly lectures in this French Spiritist Society for the Study of Psychical Phenomenon, as we have founded a couple of years after, and also in a lot of in other institutions and cities. So he was really actively disseminating uh, the, the works and the results of the experiments done in this society. 1902, it, I lost, uh, I think it's the fifth book, huh? uh, Researches on Mediumship, Research sur la Mediumnité. And here we can find the first part, huh? the Spiritist Phenomenon and the Automatic Writing of uh, Hysterical. Hysterical was the name given by the uh, psychist uh, of four mediums at that time. Huh? In the second part, uh, he's uh, examining the subject of animism, and in the third part, the subject of spiritism. So animism is all what comes from the soul of the own medium or own person, and spiritism is what comes from another soul, which is independent of the soul of the medium. Okay, And animism and spiritism is a very well-known subject, developed also by other authors like uh, Alexander Aksakov, for instance, uh, because there is always a mixture of both. Uh, even if it's a third spirit communicating through a medium, the medium will, uh, even without willing, influence the communication in a certain way. Okay. And uh, in the spiritism, he's showing multiple evidences of the communication of spirits through automatic writing, uh, evidences uh, mostly proof of identity which is totally out of the knowledge uh, of the medium, uh, showing that, uh, uh, how to say, how we can make the distinction between what could be animism coming from the medium itself and what is spiritism coming from another spirit. Okay. And this book had the eighth edition in 1923. 1905, uh, Gabrielle Delan adopted a seven months old girl the young Suzanne Rabotin, uh, which uh, was named Suzanne Delan, and who from that time always lived with him. So this is showing that he was not only in the theory, but also in the practice uh, of uh, the Spiritist teaching. Uh, in the, the same year, 1905 in June, he was participating to the Spiritist Congress in Liège, Belgium. And uh, he gave also a speech. This speech is also available in the Spiritist Encyclopedia. We have uh, also the, the summary book of this Congress of 1905 in Liège is also fully available. Huh? So well, he was there together with Léon Denis because Gabriel Delan and Léon Denis were really very close friends. Same year again, he traveled also to Algiers, visiting uh, the General Noel and his wife, huh? Carmen Sita. Uh, together with Charles Richet, so showing that uh, really uh, uh, no, uh, Charles Richet was Nobel Prize of uh, phys Physiology. Yeah? So uh, Gabriel Delan was really part of that, uh, uh, how to say, club of uh, very well known uh, uh, psychic researchers, uh, not only in France, but uh, in Europe. And uh, so uh, Gabriel Delan and Charles Richet went to the house of General Noël, which was the Villa Carmen, in order to study the phenomenon who, who uh, uh, happened there. And the full 
a summary and description of courses published in his uh, Revue Scientifique Morale du Spiritisme uh, that you can that I showed you how you can find them. Okay. In 1906, uh, he was already obliged to work with two uh, canes, uh, sticks. Huh? Uh, he went in August and September to Cusse near Lyon, where he was cared by his friend, uh, Mr. Bouvier. Mr. Bouvier is a well-known uh, spiritist from the city of Lyon. It's another pioneer huh? that we could uh, develop, uh, make some researches about him uh, uh, in the near future. And uh, he was, uh, uh, he had uh, healing, uh, how to say, he was a healer medium. Huh? And uh, so he helped and assisted Gabriel Delan in order uh, to keep his health uh, okay for his mission as long as possible. And uh, from uh, 18, 1908, uh, Gabriel Delan was also able to spend five months each year uh, in the city of Nice, south of France where friends offered him a very well located villa huh? from the window of his bedroom he could admire the sea and it was there that he worked on his important work uh, which is the material apparition of the living and the dead and uh, this work then came uh, the first volume came out uh, the next year 1909 uh, it is uh, the first volume uh, about phantoms of the living huh? of 527 pages with a huge number of uh, illustration inside the book. So it's a very sick book. And this book, as per my knowledge, uh, has, not be, has not yet been translated, not even in Portuguese. Okay, <coughs> All the books of Gabriel Dolan are translated in Portuguese, but this one uh, apparently uh, has never been translated into Portuguese. 527 pages of small letters, it's quite a challenge. Uh, in particular, because there is also the volume two, volume two huh, which came out in February 1911. And uh, this is treating the phantoms of the dead huh, with 841 pages. Okay, So these two books huh, are really the encyclopedious books uh, done by Gabriel Delan about uh, materializations huh, of the living and of the dead. And... Uh, it is, it is really, how to say, uh, the, the last very big book he wrote huh, uh, about the, uh, sp uh, on the spiritist phenomenon, okay? The materialization, which became uh, more and more frequent. Huh? And by the, by the way, who continued huh, uh, later on, uh, in particular with Dr. Gustave Gelet in the years uh, 1920 and following. So this is also showing that uh, Gabriel Delan was really a pioneer in all these uh, studies and all these things, all these investigations. And uh, he was always talking with uh, all the Colonel de Rocha, with uh, Charles Richet and others in order to exchange ideas uh, about methodology, about good and wrong results, failures, and so on. And it's very interesting to follow all this uh, written most of the time by uh, Gabriel Delan himself in his uh, magazine, uh, La Revue Scientifique et Morale du Spiritisme. So in the conclusion of the tome second, Gabriel Delan is writing, all precaution being well taken to remove various changes of error, of mistake, huh? we have seen the disembodied human soul manifest itself objectively by photographs, casts, writings, which have made it possible to identify it. These are the same beings that we knew so well on Earth who make themselves seen long after their disappearance from the terrestrial environment, affirm by their presence that the dissolution of their carnal envelope did not annihilate them. No evidence is superior to this. It suffices to convince forever those who witness it. So it's really entering into these objective proofs, huh? from subjective proofs to uh, objective proofs, huh? the photographs, casts, and writings. And uh, this was really one of the goals to which uh, Gabriel Delan strongly participated. 
<clears throat> and in August uh, 1914, so it was uh, World War I, huh? Uh, Gabriel Delan had to cease the publication of uh, his Revue Scientifique Moral and Spiritism uh, because there were no workers anymore for doing paper, for making the typography, for uh, printing. Uh, there were disruptions everywhere uh, in, the, in the supply chain uh, in Paris, so it got, it got impossible to continue publishing the magazine. But uh, fortunately, he could resume in 1917 so there is a interruption of uh, two and a half years uh, uh, of the magazine. Uh, uh, but again, we have all of them uh, from the August 1924 up to January 1917. So seamless uh, available on the Spiritus Encyclopedia. And uh, at that moment, Gabriel Delan's state of health had become very bad. Uh, he could no longer see. Uh, he barely dragged himself, each moment being for him a source of suffering. And so he was a living example of resignation and remained cheerful and very welcoming uh, in spite of all these health problems. Uh, and of course, continuing to work, of course, needing more and more assistance from other people, like at the end also Leon Denis need uh, also became blind and he needed assistance from uh, secretaries uh, by for dictating the books uh, or having uh, the books read the new books read to him and then making the world uh, with this uh, the, the prestigious memory that uh, Gabriel Delan and Leon Denis had uh, even and at, at this advanced age and uh, it was in 1918 uh, that he made a trip with his family to Aloche uh, in the surrounding of Marseille uh, this was his last trip out of Paris. He could no longer walk and had to use a wheelchair to carry him from the car to the train. Uh, so uh, here we can see some pictures of him uh, when he was older. Huh? Uh, you can see with a stick and also it was not the wheelchair, but he was uh, mostly sitting and uh, also uh, blind, uh, as we explained. Uh, also, Delan uh, knew very well uh, Jean Meyer, uh, which was a uh, mécen uh, of the uh, Spiritist movement in France. So he had a lot of money and he founded a lot of things. For instance, the International Metapsychic Institute, Institut Metapsychique International, that was founded in Paris in 1919 by Jean Meyer, uh, giving her a, a, a building for uh, uh, making their activities. And uh, Gabriel Delan advised uh, Jean Meyer to choose to select the Dr. Gustave Gelet as director for this institute. And why? Because uh, Dr. Gustave Gelet was a well-known uh, scientist, but he was also uh, convinced about the spiritualist paradigm. Okay, so he was really the ideal person for uh, making these studies. And there is really where these uh, experiments of materialization, of casting, and so on, uh, have been developed. And still today, we have the gypsum casts uh, uh, of these uh, phenomena conserved because the uh, Institut Métier Psychique International still exists in Paris. Uh, the address has changed. It's Rue de l'Aqueduc. But uh, the, the founded in 1919, so it's more than over 100 years now existing uh, in Paris. And uh, also, Jean Meyer helped to found again uh, the Union Spirit Francaise uh, after its dissolution in the eight, around 1890. It was founded in 1919. Okay. And uh, this uh, Union Spirit Francaise is uh, still existing today. Uh, it has been uh, uh, renamed by André Dumas, huh, uh, removing the word uh, spiritist huh, or spirit. Uh, USFIPS, don't ask me exactly what it is because it's a little bit complicated. Uh, Union pour la recherche de l'étude de la survivance and so on. And uh, more recently, it has been renamed again huh, by the direction of this institution. It's called Union Spirit de France. Okay. So another institution which is uh, 100 years old uh, in, in our country. Uh, almost blind then, Gabriel Delan uh, even so continued working in his uh, review and other books. Huh? Uh, he wrote the introduction of 
Ce qui nous quitte, hein, which is a book of Madame de Vatteville, published in 1917. He wrote the preface of La Realité Spirit, hein, Spiritist Reality, uh, by Henri Regnault in 1921. The preface of uh, La Villa du Silence, hein, the silent... Uh, how, to, how do we translate that into English? A mansão do silêncio? I yeah, know. I think so, yeah. The Mansion of Silence huh? yeah. uh, by Paul Baudier, which was uh, published in 1921. And also, Écoutons nos morts, and here I have put the translation, Let's Listen to Our Dead, in collaboration with Mr. Bournickel, in published in 1923. So, uh, you see that he never stopped, uh, Dolan never stopped his activities, okay? And the last book uh, which uh, has been published is uh, Documents to Serve to the Study of the Reincarnation. Uh, it was published in uh, 1924. You see, uh, in uh, 1898. And uh, basically, myself, uh, uh, I, I read Kardec when I started with Spiritism. And, uh, Of course, I was convinced about a lot of things, but uh, my biggest resistance was exactly about the reincarnation. And it's only when the, I read this book of Gabriel Delan that, okay, now uh, give up. Uh, it's really, there are so many evidences that we cannot deny it. Uh, uh, this book is the one that convinced me about reincarnation. So it, it is very, very, very well done and written. Uh. So here you can see the content, huh? historical review. Huh? So it's also not from uh, today or yesterday. Scientific basis, uh, properties of the pale spirit. Again, uh, touching the question of the soul of animals, intelligence of animals, supranormal faculties of animals. Huh? You have some uh, animals which can uh, perceive uh, uh, spirits. Is the integral memory, huh? memory renovation experience. Huh? Heredity and Prodigy's Children, Studies on Reminiscences, Remembrance of Past Lives, Reincarnations Announced in Advance, Overview of Evidences in Favor of Reincarnation. So it's really a very, very good book uh, about this uh, subject of reincarnation uh, uh, that uh, uh, Gabriel Delan published. And he, so he could not write it himself, so he had a friend. Mr. Durand, who stayed uh, the necessary time with him, and uh, Gabriel Delan was then dictating the book to his friend uh, for having it published. A quote from this book, huh? all these phenomena apparently so different from each other have a common explanation. It is that of reincarnation, which shows us the spirit slowly climbing the arduous road, which must lead it to happiness, the price of its incessant efforts. So uh, it's the conclusion of uh, this book written by uh, Gabriel Delan. So you can have a lot of exp other uh, different explanation for this, for that, for uh, another phenomenon. But at the end, the only explanation which fits to all the phenomenon is the reincarnation. Okay. Uh, 25th. 20, 1925, uh, the 12th of October, uh, was the death of uh, Gabriel Deland cousin, uh, Mrs. Mathilde Pelet, uh, that uh, lived with him for more than 30 years, uh, devoted companion and cared uh, for him with devotion, uh, so for uh, the tasks uh, in his house. And the, uh, a little bit later, uh, 15th of February 1926, It was the turn of Gabriel uh, Delan to return to the spiritual home. Huh? And uh, his grave is uh, near that of Alan Kardec in the Père Lachaise Cemetery, just something like a uh, hundred meters, not even uh, distant uh, from it, very close to it. And you have here on the right side a picture of uh, the grave of the Delan family. Now, quickly, before we, I finished, uh, Gabriel Delan uh, out of France. So I, I checked uh, with uh, Spiritist, uh, Brazilian Spiritist Federation. So they have uh, five titles uh, translated and published. You can see uh, with uh, 34,000, 29,000, 40,000 even for the reincarnation. Huh? Uh, so they made a 
lot of uh, the first one in the beginning of the 20th century, the other one is only in the end of the century. Yet, uh, so it's sum summarizing something like 150,000 prints. Unfortunately, uh, on, the only one which is still today uh, in the catalog of Brazilian Federation is found uh, here and there. <coughs> okay. Uh, there are also several other translations which can be downloaded uh, for free on, on this website I put here. So it's autoresespiritasclassicos.com. So if you look for Gabriel Delan in Portuguese, you will easily find them. Uh, and they have really all the translation, except the one of these big two volumes uh, of the materialized uh, apparitions of the living and the dead, which uh, have not yet been translated in, to my knowledge, uh, in any other uh, language as French. Uh, in Spain also, I found uh, uh, the Saul is immortal and the reincarnation as uh, the successive lives. Uh, I found also uh, uh, Spiritism in Front of Science, uh, uh, an old edition from 1886, and the Animic Evolution of 1899. And uh, in English, I could only find the two, uh, Evidence for Future Life, uh, which is a translation of the Saul is Immortal, which is dated 1904, that you can find on Google Books and uh, uh, that you can see uh, and, and buy today in the United States Spiritist Federation, you have uh, the books, the Gabriel Delan book on reincarnation. Okay, I did not yet find any other. If some of you have a knowledge of any other translation, please let me know. Uh, Gabriel Delan supporting the Spiritist movement. We have a lot of Gabriel Delan Spiritist group, uh, several in France and uh, uh, Gabriel Delan appears from time to time to give uh, some communications and assistance, huh? uh, in particular in the scientific research. Huh? He came recently because there is some project which is now being developed slowly but surely in this area. And he seems to be one of the spirits uh, which will take an active part into it. But there is also another episode which is quite interesting. It's uh, from Chico Xavier and Valdo Vieira. They made a travel uh, in Europe in uh, 1965 and wrote this book, uh, Entre Irmãos de Otras Terras, where uh, in section 2031, you have 20 questions and answers uh, with Gabriel Delan. Uh, and you see uh, the questions and the answer given by Gabriel Delan on all these questions. Okay. Uh, concluding now, because I overshoot a little bit the time, I'm sorry for that. <coughs> Alan Kardec did not only come to bring a religion. No, Alan Kardec did not come to bring a religion. He imposed no cult. He, his morality is that of Jesus, freed from all false interpretation. But what he has endowed mankind is with a doctrine or body of knowledge capable of answering all the objections of unbelief and all the great problems posed by reason. Indeed, so far, we have considered only the moral side of his doctrine, but its closer study shows us that by following his teaching, we can arrive at the most beautiful scientific discoveries. If there is a still unexplored field of study, it is that which understands the relationship between the invisible world and ours. How many problems to solve before being able to give a scientific theory of these relations? But a day will come when they will be known as scientifically studied phenomena and will no longer be a secret, a secret to us. Again, a speech he gave in 1880 huh, in the Père Lachaise ceremony. It was the anniversary of Kardec's death at that moment. So it's very important, this uh, statement, because Alan, it shows that Gabriel Dolan understood very young this problem of religion, uh, which is also a little bit controversial uh, in Brazil, but not so much in Europe, except for the Brazilians which are living here. Uh, and also showing how, uh, because all, all this knowledge we get from the spiritist phenomenon, they could help so much 
uh, in making the science progress that it is really a pity that the mainstream science today still follows the materialistic paradigm, closing the eyes uh, to uh, this uh, spiritual world which is uh, surrounding us and which, which is somehow the future of the science. Okay. And this was really the leitmotif uh, that guided uh, Gabriel Delan during his whole, its, his whole mission. Who amongst us is not asked, has not asked to himself, while the wild wind of the existence gave him a moment to off rest? Why are we on the earth, and what will be our future? What will, we, what will our future be? The feeling that drives us to this search is determined by reason, huh? which imperiously wants to know the why and the how of the events taking place around us. The time has passed when we could a priori reject our ideas with doing them the honor of dis without doing them the honor of discussing them. Today, spiritism imposes itself on public attention. The absurd prejudices which greeted him at the birth must disappear in the face of reality. It is necessary that one knows that, far from being visionaries, hollow brains, the spiritists or spiritualists, uh, in English, are called and methodical observers reporting only well-established facts. This is coming from the spiritism uh, in front of science. And with this, I will end my presentation for today. So it was a little bit on short notice. I would have liked to put more uh, content into it, but OK, uh, there will be next opportunities. And so far, I thank you a lot for your attention and for your time. Thank you so much, Charles. It's been so enlightening, you know, so, so nice indeed, especially because it's the first one and gives this overview about the work of the land. And it's really interesting to see that when we start to study Kardec, we think that Kardec is the only one he's working on his own and uh, he's the one that is, no, is actually facing not just religion, but also materialism. And then we hear about Leon Denis, Gabriel Delan, and many others, and we think that you know their work is peripheral, has nothing to do directly with spiritism. And you know, watching your your presentation, we'll see that um, um, Gabriel Delan he was born within spiritism, and he worked for spiritism actually. So his contribution wasn't something that was outside, but within the uh, development of, uh, of um, spiritism. And it's really interesting to see, because now we not just get interested in his work, but we see also, you know, what was going on. It's, it's like, to me, it's like a play where we have the actors, but we don't see the, the, the you know, the scenario around, we don't see things. So what's the context of, you know, Kardec and this work and why he said that and what why he was talking about this. And then when we start to be placed, you know, as if we were going back to their time, you know, we start to understand things. And um, it's really interesting to see that they are more concerned with materialism than with, you know, established religion per se, because they see that, you know, materialism is actually the um, antagonism of, to, of what spiritism, you know, wants to, to bring to, to the world. We had two questions here. And uh, I think you an you've answered the questions on, on the course of your of your talk. One was by Ebony Paris. She asked if uh, he had children, and then you said he had Suzanne, this um, yes. girl. Yeah. And do you know if he had any other child no. apart no, from? No, he, no, he was not married. <clears throat> okay, right. And the other question was uh, from Sandra Jimenez about books in English, and you've also answered that as well. Yes, you know, yes. So, he uh, had those two. This is what I find a pity, you see, because, uh, I mean, Gabriel Delan is not so well known. Of course, in Brazil, there are five good translations done by Carlos Simbasai and some very strong uh, translators. Huh? But uh, it's only five. I mean, the, 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 the two main ones have never been translated. And it's really an, an encyclopedic work that uh, Gabriel Delan has made at that time. Because 
you know, today we have a, a, a more recent, more uh, author huh, that uh, has published uh, through the French-speaking uh, spiritist movement, uh, the saga of the ectoplasm. And it's very interesting as well, because he, he, of course, he took a lot of sources into the, these two volumes of uh, Gabriel Delan, huh, Les Apparitions Materialisées, but uh, he also continues the story uh, until today. Huh? And uh, interestingly, uh, the, what you can see is uh, more of the researchers of that time uh, were like fraud hunters than true researchers. And Gabriel Delan, of course, he had the cold eye. He was very, really very cautious not to be cheated and so on. But he, he was uh, not fraud hunters and he was, uh, how to say, conscient of the conditions that must be gathered in order to have the phenomenon to happen. So he could observe much more things than all these fraud hunters, which uh, basically uh, were more interested in uh, raising flags than uh, really making the science progress. And, and, and Gabriel Delan never fell into this uh, trap as well. Wonderful, yeah. Very nice. So before we end our wonderful presentation of today, I just want to thank Elsa Rossi and Marcos Pimenta, Sandra Jimenez, um, let me see, Faye Hello, Waddington, and um, who else we have here? Solomon, Solomon yeah. Paris, Stephen, Ebony Paris, so should you have uh, yeah. any question even if it comes later on uh, don't uh, hesitate uh, to to ask uh, it will i will be happy yeah. uh, to answer you and you can transmit yeah. me the, the the questions and it will be a pleasure for me to answer yeah, there well, was we another. Have uh, TM good... here. <laughs> Sorry, we, do... we have TM here. I don't know who she is, but she said very well researched. Merci. Well, the, uh, thanks yeah. to you. <laughs> All the best as well. Huh? I think uh, Gabriel Delan is very uh, sympathetic uh, person. Huh? He was one of the two of the three, I would say, pillars that sustained the spiritist movement in France after the death of Kardec. Huh? Leon Denis, Gabriel Delan, and Camille Flammarion. Of course, there were others, huh? and after them, Leon, Jean Meyer, amongst others, I talk also a little bit about who make some continuation huh? with uh, also some others like Hubert Forestier. Uh, but Gabriel Delan is really one of the main apostles, uh, uh, which were, uh, uh, how to say, followers uh, of uh, Alan Kardec and developing a lot. And, and maybe one thing I could say, you see, uh, Kardec wrote, uh, spiritism is not casting concrete. If someone finds something which uh, wrong into the spiritist teachings uh, and demonstrates it, uh, spiritist teaching will change. And Gabriel Delan did one of such uh, evolution. It's the only one I know, but it's on a detail, of course. It's when Kardec is saying uh, that uh, by psychography, uh, the medium is, uh, the spirit is acting on the hand, the brace of the medium. And Gabriel Delan, you know, the, the studies of uh, the brain and the neurons uh, uh, had, uh, was really more developed at his time. He says, I think that rather of acting on the hand, the spirit is acting on the motor center in the brain, uh, making the hand to move. So it's one example you see where uh, Delan uh, adjusted a little bit some teaching of Kardec. But of course, then all the rest, existence of soul, uh, immortality of soul, uh, that the, the, how to say, the conscience stays, the communicability and so on, all these main points, reincarnation, uh, of course, uh, are unchanged and even strongly reinforced by Gabriel Delan. And I'm really uh, happy also, uh, Gabriel Delan was a, a pioneer, for instance, when you take more modern book about reincarnation, like uh, the studies done by Ian Stevenson, you can see that Gabriel Delan did the same in, in his book on reincarnation. 
he was really a, a pioneer uh, introducing uh, this type of studies. And I have also another book of Carl uh, uh, Eugene Muller, huh, which was a Swiss guy, which was, wrote also a book about reincarnation in English, by the way, in uh, 1960, in the year 1960s. Uh, also uh, basing uh, his works and his studies on uh, these bases that were established by Gabriel Dulan. Yeah, very good. Uh, TM is Tanya. Thanks, Tanya. Okay. And thanks all the others. Before we go, I just want to um, say that we are going to have all these guest speakers talking about, you know, different books that Charles mentioned today, the works of uh, Gabriel Delan in more detail. So our next one is going to be on the 5th of, um, of February. So the first Sunday in February, which is uh, the 5th of February, 6 p.m. UK time. So we will have um, Alexandre Caldini talking about reincarnation. So, um, let me quickly check. I'm not sure for several Sunday. Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> yes, and then from, you know, today on every first Sunday of the month, oh, we have the someone. The first talking. Sunday of February is uh, yes. the 5th. The 5th, isn't uh, it? Not the 5th. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if the first uh, day of uh, January, the first Sunday, Sunday yeah, 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 the first February Sunday. Sunday. So it's first Sunday, yeah. so it's the fifth of February. Okay. The fifth of February, yes. But we make the announcement in a Correct. due time. Okay. So, <laughs> Charles, I have no words to thank you, because it's been brilliant again. You know the work that you do, bringing history and knowledge about the 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 work of these pioneers is so valuable, so important. It expands our horizon when we look at what Kardec did and also the spiritism. So thank you so much. And before we go, I just want to give the credits for the conception of this um, series of talks about Gabriel Delan to uh, Elsa Hossi. She was the one that woke up one day and said, we have to talk about you know the pioneers of spiritism. Let's organize a series this time because we did one uh, about the work of uh, Leon Denis. This time is going to be about uh, Delan. So uh, here we are, thanks to Elsa. So yes, thank, thank you, you so Elsa. Much. Even <laughs> even if it was very short notice, only I think three days ago, uh, I think <laughs> I ago, yeah. do something. <laughs> it's still with a lot of imperfection, but uh, I think uh, the essential was uh, here. Yes. Okay then. So see you all. In, um, in a month's time. All the best and for the new year again. And yeah. may the peace of uh, our master, uh, Jesus, uh, stay with all of us. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.